There were green ribbons seemingly everywhere as the Farmingdale High School varsity football team resumed their schedule after a nearly two-week pause. Their opponent, the Port Washington Schreiber High School Vikings, who welcomed the Dalers with open arms. It's been over a week since the bus tragedy. The emotions are still raw, but the support of the entire Long Island community is overwhelming. It's tough, but um, I think we as parents, we're going to be their coach. We're going to be their leader. We're going to be there for them. We're going to be their support. Make a lot of noise. We, we will definitely make a lot of noise. <laughs> the players were wearing memorial decals on their helmets, not forgetting the bus crash disaster of September 21st in Orange County. The accident injured dozens of Farmingdale marching band members on a field trip and claimed the lives of band director Gina Pelletieri and retired teacher Beatrice Ferrari. They were remembered today even without the band. We'll try our best for everything that happened in Farmingdale. We will definitely try to keep the spirits up, we even without the band. We are the band today. <laughs> How does a community move forward after such a tragedy? Parents and coaches say they needed a game like this to remember. Yes, but to move forward, yet remembering those who were hurt or lost. Well, I think the nice thing about kids being involved in a sport after something like that is that you go out to practice every day for a few hours and you kind of put it all behind you for a few hours. I think that's been real good for these guys and this afternoon is great. The Vikings scored first, but the rest of the game was all Dalers. The final score, Farmingdale 34, Port Washington 14. While important, everybody seemed to need this game to take their minds off the funeral and wakes of the past week, even if just for four quarters. In Port Washington, Drew Scott for Newsday TV.